in this video I show how to make a dome uh, with a rectangular base uh, starting from uh, an extruded mass element. So we are in mass editor, go to level 1 and now we create a frame for this in order to to make a do the dome so we have here a dome with let's see uh, 20 meters and uh, it's here it's uh, mirroring here this this and now we create another reference plane here also 10 meters and now mirroring now we'll make a this is a rectangular by base for our dome will make a dome with a radius of one meters uh, say with this like this and now we go in 3D we see this tab create form solid form we create a solid form and now Be sure that we select this face. We have we have the profile not locked, unlocked the profile or profile, and now we'll make a scale of this surface. Let's be as small as possible. But it's it's all right like this. I see. It's a pyramid for or almost a pyramid for for the moment. But we select all the form and using X-ray in order to 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 see the geometry better, the geometry, the internal geometry of the, the this mass, and we'll create some profiles. Let's see this profile here. Yeah. We go in so this view, and this is a profile selected. You see here, you see in the lower left corner, you see the profile. It's it's selected, and the here profile. And now we have to move with vertical. First with the arrow key, and now we'll activate the arrow, the blue arrow, that is Z direction, and it's this is uh, a dome. Let's move here this project, this profile, move it a little lower. So we have a dome so like this. We can. Uh, it's okay. Let's see it. Yes. Now it is a dome. Selected. And see it. X. Un unselect X ray. And now we have a dome with a rectangular base with a slightly rounded um, corner. Uh, this uh, can be work more because if we have to we, we, we create x-ray again and now let's see here let's create another another profile let's put it here for instance 
and let's create another one a profile here as close as possible to this and now we <laughs> select this profile tab to be the profile yeah and move it far so <laughs> we create make more complicated shape and this this create tab this profile and remove it like this oh it's in this is odd shape let's uh, move like this we can make it here a shape like this it's more Odd, strange, but it's possible to to do this. To to go in the other direction. So now this selected. Select this and uncheck X-ray. Now it's in, in, in a very special form. Uh, if I want now to make divided shape divide divide so we, we make a divide and now here you we agreed to be not 10 but only 4 for instance and and you will see here they are not aligned l the horizontal grid it's not aligned but we can change it put it like this and see if we can not oh yes it's here move it like this no no the belt we have to change the belt but not in this let's see if we cannot do it by here the belt yeah it's okay now we can move the belt here also select this look for the belt vertical belt yeah yeah it's okay now yeah and if we want to put it uh, here to put a pattern but let's say a rectangle uh, let's see rectangle and rectangle yeah it's uh, it's okay, the grid fits okay on this form. And that's the end of my... Oh, yes. And the problem is that we have to, to increase the number of U um, shape. Let's put 30. Uh, Let's put 30 and let's put 30 here. Uh, it's it's better and it is aligned. Or more that to uh, to approximate the curve, the more that you greed, the more accurate the approximation. 40 40 this is not a correct dome uh, from the architectural point of view it's not correct because here it will be when it rains it will be a pool a real pool it's not 
correctly as uh, as an architectural shape but it's only an exercise